My friends, nice to meet you again. The side length of the square ABCD is S. There is a point K inside the square, and it is exactly on the arc, whose center is A and whose radius is AB. We plot the tangent to the arc by crossing point K. BP is perpendicular to this tangent at point P. And DQ is perpendicular to this tangent at point Q. How long is the summation of BP, plus DQ, plus PQ? Why not give a try, and we will come back soon. Let's plot a few auxiliary lines. First, we connect AK and BK, respectively. And then by crossing point K plot KM, which is perpendicular to AB at point M. By crossing point A plot AN, which is perpendicular BK at point N. According to the alternate segment theorem, the angle BKP is equal to half the angle BAK. The triangle ABK is an isosceles triangle, so AN bisects the angle BAK. Which means that the angle BKP is equal to the angle NAK. The angles NAK and BKM are complementary to the angles NKA and NBA, respectively. Again, since triangle ABK is an isosceles triangle, angle NK and angle NBA are equal. So angle BKP is equal to angle BKM. That is, the three angles of the right triangle BKP are equal to the three angles of the right triangle BKM, respectively and they share a common hypotenuse BK, so these two right triangles are congruent. Therefore, we obtain that, KP equal to KM, and BP equal to BM. In the same way, by plotting KH perpendicular to AD at point H, we can get that, KQ is equal to KH, and DQ is equal to DH. Since AMKH is a rectangle with equal opposite sides, KP and KQ are equal to AH and AM, respectively. So the summation of BP plus DQ plus PQ is equal to AB plus AD, which is twice the side length, namely twice S. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.